Robots have brought about more productive manufacturing lines and greater quality assurance. Their use has saved people from having to work in hot, toxic, or otherwise dangerous environments. Automated production lines using robots are chalking up an admirable safety record. However, industrial robots have injured people, and injuries may occur more frequently as the number of working robots increases. In at least one case, in 1984, a worker was killed. The victim entered the working range of the robot, presumably to clean up scrap metal that had accumulated on the floor. The work cell control systems did not sense his presence, and as a result, the worker was pinned between the back end of the robot and a steel safety pole. His heart stopped. No matter how automated a manufacturing line is, there are sure to be workers around who must be protected. Line operators. Maintenance workers. Programmers. Managers and visitors. Robots have weak sensing capabilities, so they can't be relied upon to always react in a safe way when these workers approach. Safeguarding robots is more complex than safeguarding other types of machines. Their range of movement is much greater than other machines. Machine guards around belts, other moving parts, and points of operation are small in comparison to robotic work cells that often encompass several cubic yards on the plant floor. Robot guarding has to be flexible, too, to adapt to the variety of tasks a single robot may perform. <laughs> 